Chapter 1047, One Word Opposing a God Monarch. Such a change left all existences in the plateau quivering. As myriad temples echoed after him, Li Kai raised his palm. The power in his place was being driven by him. A gigantic Buddhist palm appeared in the sky. Its shadow would make even God tremble. Boom. This palm shattered the sky and came crashing towards the three eternal existences. Initiate. The three eternal existences shouted in response. They didn't hold anything back and unleashed all of their blood energy to power their most powerful attack. They shot it towards the palm in order to stop its terrifying might. Bang. The entire plateau quaked. On the ground was a gigantic palm print as if a blade used the land as its canvas. Each of its curves was extremely meticulous and skillfully crafted. As for the three eternal existences, they were rendered into pools of blood. Their corpses no longer existed. Mommy. Countless people felt their knees giving in while their legs trembled in fear after seeing this. Three eternal existences were annihilated by a single Buddhist palm. There was nothing left of them. Ji Kong Wuni's group was astounded. Until now, they assumed that Li Kai could only use his dharma to convert people. They didn't expect that he could destroy three eternal existences with a casual attack. Borrowing the power of the Buddhist funeral plateau. Heavenly Emperor Lin was astonished after seeing this palm. His eyes became quite profound. This attack left the group of genius in fear. All of a sudden, the scene became quiet. Li Kai's might extending beyond his conversion shattered all expectations. Three paragons couldn't even block a single move before meeting their demise. Anyone would shiver after seeing this development. The soaring heavenly saint's expression greatly shifted, with a god monarch as her backing. She was previously fearless. However, she didn't expect for the three eternal existences to be unable to block even a single palm. Li Kai flew into the sky and instantly stood before the saint's golden vessel. He smiled. Tell me, should I convert you or crush you? The shocked saintess couldn't help but take several steps back with fear in her heart. However, a figure came out and stood before her. It was an old man adorned in a robe made out of hemp. His appearance caused the sky to fall into darkness. His eyes flashed a green glint, causing people to quiver uncontrollably. An aghast spectator uttered, God Monarch. Despite not unleashing his full blood energy and God Monarch aura, the strands of power radiating from his body were scary enough. A paragon from the previous generation murmured in astonishment, Night Scorpion God Monarch. The old man called the Night Scorpion God Monarch blocked everything with darkness. In order to stop Li Kai's conversion, he stood before the saintess and spoke gravely, Little friend, please hold on, a God Monarch. Li Kai looked at him and chuckled, although you barely make the cut off, you are still a bit stronger than self-proclaimed monarchs. Night Scorpion did not respond. He coldly stared at Li Kai like a scorpion watching its prey in the shadows, ready to deliver the fatal blow with its poisonous pincers at any time. What a shame, a god monarch that should be free to travel among the clouds. Instead of retiring and enjoying the rest of your lifespan, you came here to be someone else's dog. It isn't anything great to rely on a soaring immortal sect. It cannot protect your sect forever. Li Kai leisurely smiled. At this point, people were ready to see if the god monarch could actually stop evil Buddha. They now understood his terrifying abilities too well. The monarch remained quiet and bid his time to deliver a mortal blow. At this time, the saint has kept enough distance behind him to stay safe. She finally felt relieved and grew more courageous with his protection. God monarch, slay this evil monk for me. I want to take his head to the emissary. Her embarrassment from earlier now turned into anger. The monarch still didn't attack yet. He was quite cautious as he searched for an opportunity just like a scorpion shrouded in darkness. With his strength and status, he wouldn't attack just because the saint has told him to. Take my head? Li Kai laughed and placed his palms together. Oh merciful Buddha. In the blink of an eye, a Buddhist light illuminated the world. The rhythm of the entire plateau was moved by him. Die. In this split second, the monarch finally attacked since he had no other choice. A cold glint flashed by like a star drifting through the night sky. This glint crossed the sky at an unimaginable speed. Many people's hearts skipped a beat since they felt their hearts being pierced. However, at that exact moment, there seemed to be millions and millions of sacred monks reciting Buddhist laws in unison. In the blink of an eye, a golden lotus fully bloomed below Li Kai's feet. No one knew what was going on. The only thing they noticed was that the monarch had completely disappeared from everyone's sight. They eventually found that this lotus flower was growing in a boundless Buddhist sea. The other shore of the sea was actually Spirit Mountain. Over there. An old paragon finally saw it clearly and pointed at Spirit Mountain in the distance. At this time, everyone realized that the Night Scorpion God Monarch was being trapped in Spirit Mountain located at the other side of the sea. Night Scorpion was frightened as well. The moment he took a step forward to leave Spirit Mountain, he was lost in the vast sea and couldn't leave. This scared him enough to the point where he had to pull back his foot. He was completely pale for he knew he had met a fearsome opponent. Just one word alone could banish him forever. The crowd was astonished, including Ji Kong Wudi's group. One word to banish a god monarch. This was more ghastly than anything else they had experienced. It was so quiet that one could even hear the sound of a needle hitting the ground. Both near defying geniuses and powerful existences hiding in the shadow were shocked alike. Splash. Crash. While everyone was speechless, the sound of crashing waves could be heard. The water in the lake crazily spun as a Buddhist lotus slowly emerged from its depths. It was extremely holy and instilled awe in the hearts of the spectators. Buddhist lotus. A cry came out after they saw this lotus coming out of the lake. It quickly attracted everyone's attention. The crowd turned restless. Different blood energies rushed to the sky and condensed into a terrifying mass above the plateau. It was an oceanic storm that could tear apart the sky at any moment. Li Kai smirked at the sight of the lotus flower. He was the first to take action as he walked towards it. At this second, it already belonged to him. No one else could take it. Boom. But right when he got close, 
Several people immediately took action. They were all experts that hid in the shadows, true masters. All of them were at least at the eternal existence level. One of them was even a god monarch. And this was not the most terrifying part. An imperial aura that tore apart all things was among these invincible powers. An imperial weapon came forth and shattered myriad laws, forcing people down to their knees to worship. Imperial weapon. The majority of the cultivators had already withdrawn far away after sensing the imperial aura. They didn't wish to participate in this competition since they couldn't even stand firm at this moment. A god monarch ambushing with an imperial weapon. One could easily imagine how dreadful this attack was. These big shots that had been hiding were all famous. However, they let go of their reputations and all launched a surprise attack towards evil Buddha. In their eyes, evil Buddha's ability to banish a god monarch with one word was too frightening. Thus, they wanted to take the initiative and kill him before he could react. Am I Tebha? Li Kai chanted. A boundless light blasted across space. The power of the entire plateau was taken by him no matter how vast it might be. At this time, he was the Buddhist lord that controlled the entire plateau. Am I Tebha? With a loud shout like a vajra subduing evil, the innumerable monks in this place all shouted. A torrential force of the Dharma rushed out like a reversed waterfall. It guarded all the existences in this world. Boom. The sky sent down a golden word, Buddha. It had supreme power and crushed everything in the nine heavens and ten earths. Ah. After screaming miserably, the several groups ambushing Li Kai were instantly crushed by the supreme Buddhist word. Blood and flesh spilled all over the place. From start to finish, they never showed themselves. Even at the moment of death, the spectators didn't know who they were. After all, they died without leaving behind a corpse remaining, let alone a grave. Bang! The imperial aura exploded in the sky. Among the ambushers, only the god monarch survived. His imperial weapon managed to block the word Buddha. However, he was crazily vomiting blood while everyone could hear the sound of bones snapping.